God says, I'm standing with you. I'm by your side and I am not leaving you. You matter to me. Your life has meaning. I love you. 888 If you are reading this you will be fine. Money will come to you, you will heal, love will find you, life will turn out better than you imagined. Stay positive and believe all is well. Being angry is not a sin. You all have human emotions. However, it is not right to sin while being angry. Control your anger. Do not go to sleep angry. Forgive and love. I love you. 1010 good news is coming your way. It will be a sign for you that despite everything that's happened recently, you are now on the right path. Save this post to affirm. Another day of life is another day to rejoice. You made it through the entire week. You are stronger than you think. I love you. 333 The universe is saying to you this year you will get the real love you deserve. This person cannot wait to be with you. You are this person's love of life expect magic. God says, I don't want to see you hurt. Please, ask me for help. Let me in your life. I want to help you. I love you. 444 if you read this. An explosion of success is right around the corner. An endless amount of financial abundance and love is coming your way. God says, you don't have to understand everything. Let go of the things outside of your control. I am working. I love you. 2222 If you read this your best days will start from this point onwards you will heal, true love will find you and money will bless you and your family. Are you ready for this gift? Dear God, I don't know what bumps in the road lie ahead, but I am always confident that your plan is perfect. If you trust God, thank God. Although my body sometimes falls ill, I can still work. Sometimes I don't sleep well at night, but I can still wake up and face the new day. My wallet may not be full, but I am still well fed and clothed. I may not have everything I want, but I have everything I need. I am grateful to God for this. Comment Amen. Lord, I lift my family member up to you right now. You know exactly what they're facing and you know what they need. I pray that no matter what happens, you give them the peace that only you can give. Help them to see that you are working, even when they don't feel it and can't see it. You're holding them together. Remind them of that today. Thank you. Jesus. Amen. If God has ever answered your prayer, declare Amen. The deepest level of worship is praising God through the pain, thanking God through the trials, trusting Him when we're tempted to lose hope, and loving Him, even when He seems distant. At my lowest, God is my hope. At my darkest, God is my light. At my weakest, God is my strength. At my saddest, God is my comforter. God is saying to you today, I know you are going through a difficult time in your life right now, and you are dealing with multiple circumstances, and a lot of emotional pain. It seems as though before you can get through one thing, one thing, another things happen. I don't always still the storm around you. Sometimes I still the storm raging in you. 
Do not faint, I am strengthening you in areas that you can not see right now. You and I will get through this together, like we always do. Everything will be all right. A prayer for my sister. Jesus, I thank you for my sister I know. You make no mistakes and I know there. Was no mistake when you let us be together to be more than a friend, more than a last name, but Lord, to be sisters. She is the greatest person I know and I pray she sees herself the way you and I see her. A girl that I know changed the world just by her stepping into it. She is a light, she is the greatest friend, and the best person I know. Thank you Lord that you purposed me to be a sister. It's one of the greatest joys of my life. Money is coming. New home is coming. New car is coming. Prosperity is coming if you save this audio affirm yes. Entering into this new week, I entrust my complete faith in your loving care. God, I am confident that you will provide for all my needs, as you have always done. Despite the challenges and tribulations that may come my way, I am steadfast in my faith, believing that choosing to follow the returned Lord faithfully is the wisest and most virtuous path. Lord, I need some reassurance you hear me. I can feel this weariness in my soul and a weight on shoulders, my back, my heart, my mind. Lord, the season has been long and difficult, and the struggle has been very real. Tonight, I ask for strength, comfort, and peace as I give this burden to you and place it in your hands. Please help me to rest and grant me sweet restorative sleep. I ask in Jesus' name, Amen. This is for those in waiting. One thing I've learned is that waiting should not be a passive thing. It's just like when you're expecting someone for dinner, you don't wait until they show up before you decide to start cooking. Most likely you start early in the day. You make sure the house is clean, you go to the grocery store, and maybe buy some flowers for the table. You make preparations because you're expecting someone. Well, that's the attitude we need to have while we're waiting for God's promises to come to pass. As you put actions behind your prayers, your faith comes alive and opens the for God to move mightily on your behalf. Lord, thank you for your abundant, abounding grace. Thank you that we don't have to earn a drop of the mighty river of grace that flows freely for us today. Thank you for the unexpected, unmerited favor you've showered on my life. Help me put myself in the path of your love and grace. Help me not neglect the disciplines I need to meet with you regularly and to send gift AK from the water of life. Thank you for your rich. If you don't fill your mind with the Bible, prayer, and worship, it will be filled with worry, anxiety, and temptation. Sometimes God takes you on a journey you didn't know you needed, to bring you everything you ever wanted. Trust the plan. God did not bring you this far to leave you or forsake you. Things might be hard for you to handle, but God will still make a way for you. Dear God, Please calm my mind, heal my heart, and take away my worries. If God has been good to you, am with Amen. In the quiet moments of my heart, I find deep delight in your presence. There is nothing in this world that can compare to the boundless love you shower upon me. Your grace knows no limits, and in you, I find the fulfillment of the desires of my heart. 
I stand in awe of how intimately you know me, Lord, and how intricately you care for me. Your knowledge of every detail of my life is beyond comprehension, yet you are always by my side, guiding me with your. It's okay if life scares you right now and all you feel is anxiety and worry. It's okay if you don't know the next best step to take. Because all of these feelings have value. Because when they leave they will leave you stronger than you were before. So let yourself feel all you need to feel. And take all of the time you possibly need. Because all of your feelings and emotions are 100% necessary in your beautiful healing journey. Dear God, as the day comes to a close, I want to thank you for watching over me and guiding me throughout the day. I am grateful for the blessings you have given me and for all the love and support you have provided. As I prepare for sleep, I ask for your continued presence in my life. Please protect me and any loved ones through the night, and help us to wake up refreshed and ready to face a new day. I pray for those who are struggling, that you give them what they need, Amen. One of the things that will strengthen your relationship with God is to realize that Jesus is the answer you're looking for. For your pain, for direction, for the ability to change, for your regrets and when you feel stuck. When you need more joy, more hope, more health, more discipline, and more determination. When you need to forgive, restore, or a friend go to Jesus. Don't look for it on social media or anyone else. Jesus is the answer for everything you need. Dear Lord, I don't always understand the path you have me on or why you allow the things that you do. Help me to be more faith-filled instead of fear-filled. May praying to you and trusting in you, become my first responses, instead of worrying or being anxious. Help me to remember that you have not brought me this far to fail me now. I thank you for leading and guiding me and for providing for my needs. In Jesus' name I pray. God is saying to you today, I know you have been struggling for a long time. Financially, spiritually, and emotionally, you have a good heart and people have abused you in many ways. The devil has tried to make you lose your mind. You have been betrayed in many ways. Yet you stand in the midst of your storms. You are still here because I am with you. I will not allow any weapon that is formed against you to prosper. Fear not. I am going to turn things around and bless you in the presence of your enemy. God is saying to you today, I know you have been struggling for a long time. Financially, spiritually, and emotionally. You have a good heart and people have abused you in many ways. The devil has tried to make you Jose your mind. You have been betrayed in many ways. Yet you stand in the midst of your storms. You are still here because I am with you. I will not allow any weapon that is formed against you to prosper. Fear not, I am going to turn things around and bless you in the presence of your enemy. I don't know who this is for. V I know you're in a season of waiting and praying, and it's not always easy. There will be moments of frustration and doubt, where you question everything and wonder if your prayers are being heard. But even in those challenging times, I encourage you to remain patient and steadfast. Keep waiting, keep praying, and keep trusting in God's plan. Remember, His timing is perfect, and He knows what's best for you. So don't lose hope or give up on your dreams. 
Keep believing that God is working behind the scenes, and when the time is right, He will bring your desires to fruition. Stay strong, and never forget THA God is faithful to fulfill His promises. Stop worrying too much about what may come in the future or what has happened in the past. Our seconds tick by too fast to waste on things you can't change or control. Just let it be. Take a deep breath, be in the moment, and just be thankful for where you're at right now. The present is all we really have. Forget about the what ifs and the should could haves. Accept what was and what is. Remember, you've got one life one opportunity to live. Don't let it slip away while you focus on the wrong things. Breathe in. Breathe out. Make every moment count. Lord, please forgive me. I am not perfect, I am a sinner. Sometimes I forget to pray, at times I forget to thank you, sometimes I lose my temper. I know you see every little thing I do. But thank you for always giving me another day to start anew. My Lord, please do not leave me, you are my everything. If you love God and are not ashamed of Him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. In every situation when we're hurt, disappointed, confused, upset, anxious, stressed out, scared, tired, or even angry at where our lives are at the moment the greatest words we can say are, God, I trust you. We're not always going to have all of the answers, but that's okay. God is faithful and He promises to take care of us as we place our trust in Him and His way of doing things. Heavenly Father, as the day draws to a close, I bow before you with a heart full of gratitude. Thank you for the countless blessings you've bestowed upon me and my loved ones today. Your guidance and protection have been evident in every moment, filling our hearts with peace and joy. As we prepare for rest, I ask for your continued presence to surround us and grant us a night of peaceful sleep. Thank you for helping me build and maintain healthy routines and habits for myself as a whole, while I make self-care a priority. It is my wish to be free of toxic energies, foods, drinks, emotions, habits, people, places, and situations. May I be free of it all. Allow me to be clear of these challenges I bring upon myself. Help me to be authentic and honest so I can easily say no if or when I need to. Help me stay structured and disciplined as I create my new healthy lifestyle. Remind my how great it feels when I make self-care a priority. Everything just becomes better. Allow me to speak my new energy into existence while I. Dear God, in the journey of faith, remind us that it is not the absence of doubt but the presence of belief that defines our relationship with you. Strengthen our faith in the face of challenges and uncertainties, and help us to trust in your promises. Teach us to lean not on our own understanding but to seek you earnestly, finding assurance in your word and comfort in your presence. Amen. God is saying to you today. You have to let that hurt go my child. It's changing you. You used to seem so full of life. Full of joy. Happiness. But now it seems like there is always something heavy on your heart, on your mind. You seem closed off. 
you seem so sad all the time. But I need you to hand over all your worries, anxiety, and fears over to me. I will never allow any weapon formed against you to prosper. I will never forsaken you. I will turn things around and bless you in the presence of your enemies at the right time. My timing is always. Dear God, today I am grateful to you for allowing me to wake up and experience a new day with the company of my family and loved ones. Thank you for being my refuge when I am in need and my provider at all times. I believe that you will guide my steps and show me the right path to take today. I pray for the strength to face any challenges that may arise, the confidence to stand firm in difficult times, and the wisdom to make decisions that align with your will. May my heart be pure and may my mind be filled with wisdom to act according to your will. I entrust this day into your loving hands, for I know that you are with me. You cannot control the actions, feelings, or thoughts of others. But you can control your growth. You can control your response to life. You can control what you do what you pay attention to and how you show up each day. Focus on being a better you. Because, ultimately, that's where your happiness lies. Dear God, thank you because you have defended me in battles I know nothing about. No matter what I face today, I am grateful that I can say with confidence, surely goodness, and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life because you go with me all the days of my life. Thank you for being my source of strength and security. Right now, I give you my worries for the day because I trust. Dear God, thank you. Thank you for granting me life and prosperity. Thank you for a new day. Thank you for supporting my healing. Thank you for transforming me. Thank you for helping me become my best self. Thank you for my community. Thank you for the beautiful surprises. Thank you for better opportunities to come. I love you. Amen. Amen. A.S.E. God will strengthen you and uphold you. Isaiah 41 colon 10 To his love will never fail you. Isaiah 54 colon 10 3 Wisdom when you ask. James 1 colon 5 For God will meet all of your needs according to his riches. Philippians 4 19 5. His plans are to prosper you. Jeremiah 29,11 6. He works all things out for your good. Romans 8,28 7. He will give you rest. Matthew 11,28 8. Salvation through Jesus Christ. Romans 10,9 9. The joy of his presence. Psalm 16:11 10 Eternal life in him Romans 6:23 You spend time doing the things you love I hope you apologize to your body for ever saying hurtful things I hope you let yourself feel everything as deeply as you need to knowing that one day the bad moments will be distant memories I hope you're proud of yourself for the silent battles you've fought and overcome all by yourself. And I hope you realize you have so much left to experience. So much laughter ahead, so many moments with people you love that'll become core memories. I hope you let yourself believe that there's so much good ahead this year, and the next, and the next. Three things to do every day. Number one, expect God's goodness. 
Get up every day looking for God's favor. Number 2, Recognize God's Goodness. There are no coincidences, no lucky breaks. It's all the goodness of God. And number 3, Always thank God for His goodness. Anytime something good happens, big or little, give God the glory. Lord, thank you for that parking spot. Lord, thank you for that idea. Lord, thank you for sending me dew in my desert. If you do this, I believe that his blessings are going to come after you. Maybe you feel deep within you that you aren't where you are supposed to be right now, but maybe you actually are. Maybe you are being held in this place so that you can grow and heal before you go somewhere else. Maybe you are being protected. Maybe you are being given a rare opportunity to focus on yourself and no one else for a while. It might feel uncomfortable and lonely, but maybe these feelings aren't negative. Maybe it is in these moments you discover yourself in a way that helps you change for the better. Maybe you will carry the lessons you learn now with you forever. You see, it is in the seasons that make the least sense we grow the most. It is in the seasons that are the most uncomfortable that we become more comfortable with ourselves. I hope you lean into these moments with surrender. Surrender to the journey your soul is on. You are always being guided to where you belong. Even if you don't feel like you belong where you are right now, you won't stay in this place forever. Before you know it the dreams you are dreaming of now will be sent gift your reality when they are supposed to be. Trust God. Lord, I express deep gratitude for your abundant blessings be it the shelter over my head, the comforting bed, or the shoes on my feet. Despite moments of complaint, I seek your forgiveness. May gratitude be my constant companion, acknowledging your unfailing love and favor in the midst of life's busyness. Almighty God, before I start doing my daily task today, let me begin by expressing my heartfelt gratitude for the brand new day and life that you've given me. Yesterday is gone along with my disappointments, discouragements, and today is the day of healing, blessings and miracles. Lord, I lift up to you all the concerns of the day for I know I can make it victoriously because your love makes all things possible. In Jesus' name, Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we are grateful for the precious gift of our children. In a world that can sometimes feel uncertain, we pray for you rescue them from every evil attack and bring them safely to your kingdom. May your presence be a constant guard, keeping them safe in their comings and goings. Lord, you have said in Psalm 91:11, For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Let this promise be their shield and fortress. Surround them with your angels, and let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard their hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Give them the wisdom to navigate the challenges they may face and the discernment to avoid the snares set by the enemy. Dear God, be their refuge and strength and make them dwell in safety in Jesus' name. What if God is saying this to you today? My child, why are you worrying so much I see the tears you cry when you're alone, but I want you to know that you are not alone. L am here, my child. I wish you could see the way I protect you I changed your plans to save you. 1 don't break things for you to fix them, I fix broken things so one can use them for your own good. 
You may not see it now, but I am working everything out for you. I have a plan for you. Seek me, and you'll find the answers. I am your strength when you are weak. I will fight your battles, hand it over to me. Let go. Have faith, my child. Trust me. Dear God, I come to you asking for help in figuring out what I should do with my life. There's so much I want to achieve, but I'm not sure where to start or which way to go. Please guide me and remove any clutter thoughts out of my mind so that I can hear your voice loud and clear when you speak to me. Show me the right path to follow, and I rebuke any confusion out of my life and leave my decisions in your hands. Thank you for your send gift help. In Jesus' name, Amen. 1 Psalm 34 18 Heavenly Father, in this moment of pain, I come before you. Your word says that you are near to the brokenhearted, and I claim that promise now. Draw near to me, Lord, and mend my wounded heart. In Jesus' name, Amen. 2 Psalm 42 11 Heavenly Father, my soul is downcast, and my heart aches. Yet, I choose to put my hope in you. You are my Savior and my God. Please restore my joy and peace, even in the midst of sorrow. In Jesus' name, Amen. 3 Psalm 147 3 Heavenly Father, I bring my broken heart to you. Your word says that you heal the brokenhearted and bind up their wounds. I ask for your healing touch and your comfort in this time of send gift hurt. In Jesus' name, Amen. In order to become more of who God desires us to be, we need to lay down the deep desire to be happy and fulfilled all the time. The purpose of life isn't to be happy, it's to be holy to be conformed to the image of Christ. To become people who were once selfish, dishonest, hasty, and irritable, and transform into a better reflection of our perfect Jesus. To be mature believers, we need to surrender the expectations that our lives should be simple and easy and perfect, because inevitably we will end up blaming God when things turn out for the worse. Life on earth was never meant to serve you, it was meant to change you. Lord, you are the only one worthy of our trust. When storms come my way, I often feel isolated and alone, but I know, only you will never forsake me. You are the only one who can save and help me. Lord, I surrender my everything to you. I need your help and your guidance. If you are not ashamed of God, declare Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, please forgive my sins. I love you and forever need you. Cover the wounds in my heart, those of my family, my home, my work, my dreams, and my friends, with your mercy. Grant us health, faith, peace, and love. If you love the Lord and are not ashamed of it, if you agree please declare Amen. Our Heavenly Father, please come into my home and take away all my worries, pains, and stresses. Take care of my family, my friends, and those who are currently reading this prayer. Bless me, and grant me peace, wisdom, strength, hope, and faith. May I live and triumph with courage and gratitude. Amen. Dear God, thank you for your grace and blessings today. I pray that you enter my home tonight and protect me and my family, 
granting us a peaceful sleep throughout the night. May we wake up tomorrow to witness the sunrise and embrace hope. Please bestow upon us the confidence and courage to face the challenges that lie ahead. Amen. Dear God, you are what is perfect in our world, everything around us is flawed. I ask for your help when I am faced with situations of conflict and division. Help me to react in faith and in a way pleasing to you. In these times, Lord, remind me the battle belongs to you, Amen. Heavenly Father, tonight we seek your divine covering over our lives as we rest. Surround us with your angels, and let your presence fill this space with peace and safety. Protect us from the fears of the night and the worries of tomorrow. We lay down our burdens at your feet, trusting that you will carry us through. Guide our dreams and speak to our hearts as we sleep, renewing our spirits for the day ahead. In Jesus' name, I pray.